I can't tell which one I'm more interested in here, the pen or the interesting nib inside. This video is sort of a long time coming. Thanks to former BYOB and philosophical co-host Phil Olin, this pen, or at least the nib, has been on my radar since the introduction in winter of 2023. I've also liked the look of the pens coming from Shown Design, but have never had my budget and purchasing decisions line up at the same time to pick one up. So thank you, Phil, for letting me borrow this pen. And thank you, USPS, for losing the pen and two others for three weeks while doing absolutely nothing to try and help. You guys are absolutely worthless sometimes. Moving on, what we'll be looking at today is the Monarch Titanium Nib in a black anodized aluminum body. First up is the unboxing experience, though I guess I should probably call it more of an untubing experience. Now, unlike an Apple product, where both parts of the packaging slowly come apart on their own with gravity, these two tubes have just small enough of a tolerance to require some human intervention without causing damage to the cardboard sleeve of each half. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know how much of a fan I am when companies use minimal packaging. And this is what I love to see. This is simply stated with the inclusion of a cool little pen dude here and can easily be recycled. It goes to show that you can make good protective packaging without having to have a larger than needed impact on the environment. I also prefer this over the sleeving on Kaveco's and Lamy's as the overlapping tube design is going to be more structurally sound than a container with corners. There is one drawback though. Due to the design of the cardboard sleeves, if you put the orange piece into the black piece without a pen in there, you may not be able to get it back out easily. So keep that in mind. And that brings us in a roundabout way to the pen itself. Out of the tube, this anodized black aluminum body really shows off the engineering that went into the design. Look at the tight seam between the cap and the body. On most other pens, you can see a little bit of a gap at this point or feel a little bit of play. That isn't the case here. This cap is flush fitting and snug without being stuck. I'm also liking the black on black etched branding here right above the join. Uncapping the pen, you can see how we get that nice flush fit. Just past the threading is a small red o-ring that engages just before the cap hits the final turn. Ignoring the nib for now, we have a nice feeling section with no overdone texturing or knurling. And the threads here on the section are almost completely unnoticeable when writing. That brings us to the last component. This pen is equipped with a standard converter, which will come in handy for supplying enough ink to keep this nib going. And that brings us to the star of the show. This is the Monarch nib that was introduced in December of 2022. We've seen tubular nibs before, but what makes this one special is a few things. First and foremost, this nib was made in-house in Philadelphia by Shown Designs themselves. To use their own words, this makes them among a very small number of companies globally who have achieved this feat in-house. And achieve it they did. This nib incorporates a precision machined Ultim feed. This feed is then fitted in a heavy duty solid stock grade five titanium nib with an added O-ring that keeps it sitting snugly in the section. Additionally, the tip of this nib is fully integrated, allowing for the manufacturing of a graphite-like writing experience and providing a nice canvas should you want to have a nib smith take a shot or two at it. Now let's take a look at the overall size and move into the writing samples. I recently got rid of the Sailor 1911 Stormy Seas due to not reaching for it as much as I used to. So the new comparison pen is my Pelican M805 Stressman. Capped, the Pelican is coming in about 14 millimeters longer at 141 millimeters. Weight wise though, these two pens come in pretty even at 29 grams when capped. Moving to the uncapped numbers, the Pelican is now only six millimeters longer at 127 millimeters and is now two grams lighter than the shown design that is now coming in at 23 grams. Section wise, the shown design gives you almost two full centimeters to the 1.5 centimeters on the Pelican with both sections coming in at 10.8 millimeters for the Peli and 10.2 millimeters for the shown. Now, numbers are great, but what about the writing experience? That's what's going to make it hard to send this pen back to Phil. 
This writing sample is being done in my Masubi.grid notebook with Tomoe River paper, and I want to point out up front that I have used this nib on Rhodia, Midori Cotton, and TR, and my thoughts hold true on each paper type. When talking about the feel of the nib, I think Ian got the description of graphite feel correct. I feel like I'm writing with a very forgiving pencil that happens to have the color of Pilot de Roshizuku Shoro, and while I normally don't like writing with pencils, this is an exception due to the well-designed body and section of this pen. The grip is extremely comfortable, and I don't feel my hand cramping up on long writing sessions. Additionally, the feedback of the titanium nib on paper is much less noticeable than I thought it would be, especially after a few of the writing experiences that I've had with other titanium nibs. The quality and craftsmanship that went into this nib are immediately on display, and it's hard to put the full experience into words. I mean, probably the best way I can explain it is this. If you are able to try one at a pen show, get ready to go home with a new nib. And if you are pen-abled into trying one at a pen club meetup, be prepared to put in an order at the Shown Design website. I really think this nib is just that good. And this pen design is an amazing complimentary experience. And that does it for our look at the Shown Anodized Aluminum Pen in Black with the Monarch Titanium Nib. If you liked that video or found it useful, then hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.